Good evening and welcome to Tavern 26 for week number 10's installment of the Camel Memorial Red Devil Show. I'm Matt Marr being joined this time by Tion, TJ Harris. TJ, thanks for joining me again. Yep. It's great to have you back here on the show. It's been a while here since we've been able to talk, and obviously mm -hmm. a lot has happened. First of all, congratulations on that huge win against Jackson thank Milton. You, thank you. Thank I mean, how are you guys feeling after that one? It feels pretty good, you know, after losing so many games, you know, back to back to back. It feels great to, uh, you know, get a win. Absolutely here, and a win that is huge for you guys for so many reasons. Obviously, yeah, your first win in a while, like you just brought up here, your mm -hmm. first win in conference play, which is always a big one right there. It doesn't matter what time it comes that you get that there. But then you guys are also now still in the playoff hunt here as yep. well. This upcoming week is going to be huge against Waterloo. I mean, what are you thinking right now here? What's going through your mind just thinking, wow, we might actually have a shot here at the dance? That I just want to win. That, that's pretty much it. I just want to go out, win, make it to the playoffs, you know, show them that we're not like all the other old Camel teams that were better than them. Not like the old Camel teams here. I'd say that's the truth here right now. This might be the best season Camel's had in a very long time. Best season that you've seen it here in your four mm -hmm. years. You're a senior. Congratulations, by the way, on getting to that point. Can you just walk us through these last four years for yourself here? I mean, coming in with a brand-new head coach, now it seems like he's been here forever, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. and he's got you guys under the room. I mean, just, just walk us through here your experience, how it's gone, how, how this team and how you yourself have grown and football here over the years. I feel like I've grown a lot, you know, attitude-wise. You know, I used to be a huge crybaby back then, but I'm not anymore, obviously. <laughs> I feel like I became a better leader, you know, for the younger guys, you know, that look up to me. So that really means a lot to me. And then my freshman year, I didn't get to play much. My sophomore year, I had to sit out because my knee. And in my junior year, I just didn't play at all. But I'm glad I came out for my senior year to play with, you know, play with my guys. So some ups, some downs, some outs, some ins. But you're back here this year. You've been mm -hmm. a huge part here. We see you down the field all the time, wide receiver. I mean, that's huge right now. I mean, anytime. It seems like Coolius goes out there as quarterback. I mean, he's not running the ball like Lambert. I don't mm -hmm. think anybody really can like Lambert. So, I mean, he's obviously looking for some distance there. He yeah. goes down the field. It almost seems like he's always looking for you. I mean, how cool is that to have that right there? Whenever your fellow, you know, upperclassman quarterback says, hey, I'm choosing you, get open, get mm -hmm. down the field. It's you or nobody. I mean, how does that feel right there? It feels great, you know, that he trusted me, you know, that much for him to throw it to me all the time. It feels amazing. I love being the number one option. I love getting the ball. And we love seeing you out there again. We saw you big time out there as well last week against Jacksonville. We've seen you all season long here at home, on the road, wherever. And you guys have been absolutely fun to watch here. Win or lose, I can't get enough of Campbell Memorial Red Devil football. This might be my favorite year of football on YSN since I've joined. I mean, it's because of you guys. So thank you for that. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that greatly here. So I can't remember here last week. I'm sure we did. Did we talk about any other sports that you like to play? Yeah, basketball. It was basketball. Is it just yeah. basketball? Is there anything else that you're maybe thinking about this year? I mean, I was thinking about doing track again, but I'm kind of on the fence about it. So I don't know yet. I mean, but basketball here, that season's right around the corner. I mean, yeah, I end of November, early December. I know. I mean, right now you're looking at, of course, a possible date in the postseason there mm. with football. But if you want to look a little bit ahead here, are you ready? Are you excited there for basketball to get started here? Maybe, you know, do a repeat here, make the postseason with basketball as mm. well? Yeah, I'm really excited for basketball. But right now I'm just focused on football. I want to make the playoffs, you know, lead my team there. And with playoffs here, again, it's Waterloo. That's a good team. They scored a lot of points last week against Lowville. So how are you guys going to combat that there with that very, very just in-your-face energetic offense here with your guys' obviously sound defense? I can't mm -hmm. stop talking enough about it anytime I'm calling your games because of how good you guys do and, of course, how good you do on your offense as well. But, I mean, how, what's the game plan here, at least from your point of view, of how you guys are going to handle Waterloo? Well, they like to pass the ball a lot, so we're going to be in a lot of man coverage. And we're going to be blitzing a lot also, so we're just really ready for them, for whatever they're ready to throw at us. That's great to hear right now. Of course, you've got to be ready. You've got to respect your opponent as well. Both teams with very similar records, of course, as well. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's going to make it even more fun. It's your last home game of the regular season here. Who knows if it's your last home game period. I mean, what are you expecting here from the fans? What kind of sh showing are you expecting here from the Camel faithful? I'm expecting a lot of love. You know, i got a lot of family coming out to that game, so I'm definitely going to play the best I've played this whole entire season. That's great to hear that you got that support of, the, of, of, of your immediate family right now of coming out here. Obviously, you got your family there on the field, on the mm -hmm. pitch, whatever you want to yeah. call it here. You got them coming out. What's one thing that you'd want to say here to the Camel fans to try and get even more people to come out here and show up and support you guys for your last game of the season? Senior night, you know, just come out, support. You need all the love that we could get for the last home game. And I know that if all y'all come out, that I know that we're guaranteed to make the playoffs. 
Yeah, you heard it right here right now. He's, he's saying if you guys got the love, the support here, you guys are pretty much guaranteeing that they're going to get in. I love that attitude right there. You guys have to be confident here, of course. Mm -hmm. And, of course, if you can't make it, we'll have you right there on YSNlive.com. It'll be there available for you to watch if you can't for one reason or another. But if you're able to, if you're in town, show up here. These guys are fun. I can tell you that watching you guys week after week, calling you guys, seeing this guy here pull off some incredible plays through the air, pulling him down and getting those touchdowns in. You can't get enough here, the Red Devils football team. All right, so we've talked about some stuff here. We talked about, you know, your senior year, you know, how this means for you. Obviously, mm -hmm. you looked a little bit forward here towards the other sports season, but that's still so far away. I, I, again, you're ready here for postseason here, possibility of coming out from that two spot here out of it because you know, you're, you're in the 18th spot here in your yeah. section, right? And you've got to get into that 16th. You have a chance mm -hmm. with a win here with a big upset over Waterloo. At least yep. that's how people are framing it as an upset. Again, same record here. I don't see that. But mm -hmm. you've got a chance to maybe go to 13 in that spot here. Mm -hmm. What's the uh, – I mean, what about that prospect of maybe being able to host a playoff game this year? I mean, how cool is that, that you guys can still have that in your option? It feels amazing because, you know, this will be my first ever, like, football playoff game. So it means a lot to me, especially to do it, you know, with the guys I've known since I was little. So it really means a lot. I mean, absolutely. I'm sure it would here. And, I mean, that's just so exciting here. But the job's not done. you got to get this win here against mm -hmm. Waterloo. you got to show up here and show them some support here so that way they can get that here. It's everybody involved. Everybody has to show up here. TJ, I'm sure we asked you last week. What did mm -hmm. you say was, oh, last week? Well, last time we had you here. What was your favorite item menu, menu on this item again? What did you say it was? The Give chicken us a little tenders and wings. Chicken tenders and wings. All right. So we got your favorite there on your entree. Mm. How about your favorite? It says shareables here, appetizers, whichever you prefer. Uh, probably the fries. Fries? fries. Yeah. Just fries? Is, just is fries. there any ways that they put them on there, or is it mm. just to get a side of fries? Just get a side of fries. That's it. Do you like to dip them anything there? Any ketchup or yeah, anything? Ketchup, or ketchup, just ketchup? ketchup. Mm. Hey, hey, that's that's not bad at all right there. I mean, fries by themselves taste good. I wasn't sure if you like to put any cheese or anything on there. Yeah. Nothing crazy. Do you do that too? Mm -hmm. All right, so a little bit of this and that. Yeah. All right. Hey, I like that right there. Got to be a little bit more creative here if you're getting mm -hmm. those, especially as a shareable or as an appetizer, right? You got to make sure everybody, or maybe make sure that nobody eats some stuff yeah, all yours, right? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, hey, TJ, thank you so much here for joining me again. Good mm -hmm. luck this week and thank good you. luck here. I know you guys are going to make the postseason. It's going to be fun. We can't mm -hmm. wait to see you guys. Yep. Thank you so much here for everybody for tuning in this week. We'll see you guys out there on the field.